All this week on Dateline Schools, we're learning about the career and technical middle college program that's underway here between St. Clair County Technical Education Center and SC4 in Port Huron. And to show more, tell more information about the program, my special guest is Tech's Career Pathway Advisor, Lisa Jones. And Lisa, yesterday you gave us a quick glimpse of the programs from Tech that are involved in the program. Go review those again for us. So the programs that are in um, available through the Career Technical Middle College program are our digital media technology, computer programming, information technology, our health careers, our um, welding, metal machining, and also our engineering and robotics, but I mentioned it as uh, mechatronics. Mm -hmm. that, that one has uh, just changed the name last year. So. And these are some of your more popular programs at Tech, aren't they? Yeah, they're very popular. As a matter of fact, all of our programs here at Tech are pretty popular. Are the, is the Middle College limited just by what uh, SC4 is able to offer as an enhanced program to, to what you're offering here at Tech? So currently we have agreements with um, SC4 for students to attend there. Um, looking to expand the program, we'd have to be a little more unique. Not everything that we offer here at Tech is available at SC4, so um, that would mean going to other universities, you know, to offer it through all of the programs. Now, are these classes that the kids take at SC4, are they hands-on classes there? Or are they uh, online classes? How, how are they delivered? So students can take um, the traditional academic courses, like your English 101, your poli-sci. Mm -hmm. All um, the fun ones. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> um, which actually is very beneficial for students to take if they're planning to transfer to a four-year university. Um, but they also have the opportunity to take the more hands-on technical classes. So in your computer programming, more the networking, um, also in our engineering and technology programs, they get the, you know, welding and metal machining. Those all are offered as well. I know it's kind of early into it being you're only in your second year of the program. You're finding more kids are more interested in transferring or will that be the end of the road, get that certification and then out under the workforce? I think that's divided pretty evenly actually right now. Um, we have students that are looking to use the Michigan Transfer Agreement and taking their gen ed requirements to transfer to a four-year university, mm -hmm. but then I also have a lot of students that are enrolled in the um, technical classes that want to enter the workforce after, so it's pretty divided right now. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.